Hi, I'm Laura Purdy Salas. I have three picture books that came out within a three month period, all from different publishers. And I think that they offer an interesting view of the different lengths of times it can take a picture book to go from an idea to a printed published book. My three books are Snowman Minus Cold Equals Puddle from Charles Bridge, In the Middle of the Night from Word Song, and Lion of the Sky from Millbrook. And I'm just going to briefly share a little bit about the timeline of each of these books. So I had my book launch party over the weekend for Poetry Palooza. And because these three books have come out so close together, a lot of people have been saying, well, you must have been really busy the last couple of years. And I have been really busy the past couple of years, but mostly not with these books. Picture books take a while to go from idea to published book. So I'm going to share with you the three different paths these books took. You can see on this timeline, they all ended up published here in spring of 2019, but their timeline, um, you know, where they are clustered, their events are clustered along the timeline, vary from book to book. So first up, let's look at In the Middle of the Night, Poems from a Wide Awake House. I wrote this book and Angela Madison did the illustrations. This book came about, I got the idea back in 2012. It was inspired by a poem in one of my previous poetry collections called Book Speak, in which all the books in a bookstore party at night, basically. <laughs> and I loved that poem. It's called uh, Lights Out at the Bookstore. And I really liked that poem. And then on my blog, somebody wrote a brief poem, which I can no longer find, about what chalk does at night. Some kind of, you know, like chalkboard chalk coming to life at night and having this little adventure. So I came up with this idea in 2012 and I started writing poems. And it sold the next year, which was awesome. It was acquired by Rebecca Davis at Word Song. And at that point, I had an agent. So this book, uh, this manuscript was submitted by my agent to Rebecca at Word Song, and she acquired the manuscript. A year later, I did a major revision. Sorry, I have to keep getting myself out of the way there. A year later, I did a major revision. And then um, in 2016, there was another round of revisions. And it went to Angela, the illustrator, in 2017. And there are a lot of reasons that there might be delays like this. Sometimes it's that an editor or an art director is waiting for a specific illustrator who is backed up. They have a lot of uh, projects, you know, at the front of the line because generally an illustrator gets a year to do the art for a picture book. Other times it's because, you know, basically their um, slots for the coming several years are already filled up. They have acquired manuscripts and they're looking at their editorial calendar saying, oh gosh, we have all the manuscripts we need for the next, you know, five years. Um, so in this case, it went to the illustrator in 2017, and then it came out in 2019. So from first draft to published book was seven years for In the Middle of the Night. I'm thrilled with how it came out. Um, in other videos, I will share some more details. Uh, but I'll just share two poems with you here. The first one, Ready to Rock? No. End of day equals time to play. But I admit, 
I like to sit. And the second poem on this page is this rather lonely stick. I'd rather stick with you. I'm lonely without my girl. I'm a magic wand without a magician, electric guitar without a musician. I'm lonely without my girl. I'm a bronco without a cow hand to ride me, a sidekick without my hero beside me. I'm lonely without my girl. I want some adventure to play and to laugh, but nighttime's no fun when I'm only a half. I'm lonely without my girl. I realize that I read a couple of the lower key poems, and of course, in many of the poems, um, the objects in the child's house and yard are getting up to all sorts of adventures. Um, but this was a little bit of the more, the more melancholy side. So next up, uh, Lion of the Sky, Haiku for All Seasons. You can see on the timeline here that this book started much more recently in 2016. And I did a first draft and it was acquired and then revisions happened very quickly, a couple of rounds of revisions, and it went to the illustrator in 2018 and came out then in spring of 2019. So this one was much more um, bunched together. It happened much more quickly. And there are a few reasons for that. Um, first of all, I'll, I'll back up even a couple more years though, back in 2014. So I didn't put this on the timeline because it wasn't for this book, but this format of poem I kind of came up with back in 2014. It was National Poetry Month, and I usually do a poem a day during National Poetry Month. And I decided I would combine my love of riddles and my love of haiku and other brief poem formats and um, my love of mask poems in which the narrator of the poem is some object, not an actual person. So on my blog that April in 2014, I shared what I called a riddle coup every day. And so first of all, I just shared the text. So this one was, I dive into milk. It's my start the day routine, swimming with my friends. And then a little farther down on the page, for people who didn't figure it out right away, I had a close-up photo of the answer. That was hint number one. And then, if they needed it, I had a picture that showed the answer flat out. You know, so this is cereal, a bowl of cereal. And the response was great. I had teachers and writers and um, readers following my blog and saying, oh, I love these riddle coup, and they're guessing them, and um, it, it was just really fun. So going back then to 2016, I had pitched to my editor, who is the wonderful Carol Hins at Millbrook, which is part of Learner. Um, Carol and I have a relationship going back a number of years because I have published several other wonderful books with Millbrook. So we had a long-standing, you know, working relationship. So I pitched Carol some ideas because I had a lot of things I was interested in writing. And I wasn't sure. I thought, well, if, if a particular idea really hits Carol and she's interested, then I will focus on that one next. So I shared with Carol some of the poems from back in 2014 that were on my blog. And I pitched the idea of a poetry book about the seasons um, featuring these riddle coup. And that was one of probably 10 or so ideas I sent her. And she liked it and said, yes, you know, can you write some, some sample poems for each season? And I will take it to the acquisitions committee. So I did that. I wrote 
some samples. She gave me some feedback. Uh, we didn't make the next acquisitions committee because she wanted to make sure it was as strong as possible. So she gave me some more feedback, asked me um, to work on it a little more, which I did. I came back with a revised excerpt. It still wasn't a complete manuscript. And she took that excerpt to an acquisitions meeting and Millbrook acquired the project. This was the first and um, only picture book I think that I've sold based on an incomplete draft. And then we dove right into revision. And Carol and I, because we've worked on a number of books together, um, you know, we just we have a nice revision process that I think we're both really comfortable with, and I enjoy it. And then it went to the fabulous illustrator who is Marseille Lopez in 2018. And now here is the book in spring of 2019. So this is like lightning speed for a picture book. And to give you just a touch of um, Lion of the Sky, here's an excerpt. Lie down in whiteness, kick and swish and wave your arms. Give me winter wings. And firelight from the past, I wink in the frozen sky, waiting for wishes. And the answer to those two riddle coup are um, a snow angel and stars. And there is an answer key in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, it's so fun to share these books because I really love all three of these books and the way they came out. You know, sometimes you have a picture in your head when you write a manuscript and the final printed book is always different from what you picture. And, you know, a lot of times it's much better. And in this case, all three of these books, I'm so happy to say it's, it's better. I love them so much. Um, the third title that I'm going to share with you is called Snowman Minus Cold Equals Puddle, Spring Equations. So this one kind of came up in the middle of the pack. In 2014, I was brainstorming some ideas. And actually what I was brainstorming were structures or formats, not topics. I was thinking, what are some unusual ways that I can share nonfiction information with kids? Something besides either a narrative, like a biography, or something that's told in a kind of a story format, but also different from a kind of a survey roundup of just brief expository bits. Um, because I've done a number of those books and I, I love that approach, but I thought, okay, let's mix it up. Let's try something else. And I came up with the idea of equations. So I just put blank plus blank equals blank. <laughs> Bees plus flowers equals honey, short equation, then longer prose explanation, all science related. That's what I thought of. Um, and so I started writing, but I had many, many kinds of equations about all sorts of topics. So um, I then narrowed it down to a park, things that happen in a park and the nature based changes and transformations that happen. And it was the following year, 2015, before I narrowed it down to things that happen, you know, mostly in a park um, in this one area in spring. And I continued working on that and polishing that. And in 2016, it was acquired by Alyssa Pusey at Charles Bridge. And Alyssa had taken another manuscript of mine to an acquisitions meeting several years ago that did not get acquired. They, they did not choose to acquire with it. Um, we spoke together at a nonfiction conference one year. We didn't speak together. We each spoke, and we also had lovely conversations. And so I had never worked with Alyssa um, 
but we did have an existing relationship of I had sent her a number of manuscripts. She liked my work and we kept thinking, OK, there's going to be a project that, you know, is the one. And it turned out that this was it. So she acquired the manuscript in early 2016. We did revisions. In fact, initially, excuse me, initially it was going to be on the 2018 list for Charles Bridge. And we were working on revisions and we were really, you know, going through things fairly speedily. Um, but then in order to get the illustrator that she really wanted and that I was totally on board with, um, and that is Misha Archer, who just knocked it out of the park with this. Um, if I'm remembering right, I think that's why it did get pushed from the 2018 list to the 2019 list. And, you know, so that happens a lot. <laughs> um, and so the text went to Misha back in 2016, but I don't think that it was, you know, first on her list. It wasn't the top project that she was already committed to. And one thing to keep in mind with these kinds of schedules is that generally a picture book publisher, they need to have the art completely done, final art and the complete design of the book, generally about a year before the publication date, because they have to create FNGs, so folded and gathered. That's kind of like the advanced reader copy for a picture book. Um, let me show you one. So here's an FNG of Lion of the Sky, and it's not, it is not bound, it's just folded pages. So anyway, publishers need pretty much the complete book a year beforehand in order to send out review copies, get it in the catalog, get their marketing plan together. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the reasons that picture books take so long to publish. So taking a look at how this book, Snowman Minus Cold Equals Puddle, turned out, you can see Misha Archer's gorgeous art here. And here's what we ended up with. Dusk plus skunks equals parade. And then there's a sidebar. Late spring means feeding lessons for baby skunks. Skunks are nocturnal, so as day turns to evening, a mama skunk marches through the meadow to look for grubs and bugs for supper. Her kits follow her, watching and learning. And then over here we have one dandelion times one breath equals 100 parachutes. Dandelions are a weedy, seedy sign of spring. Plants spread their seeds in many ways. Dandelion seeds float on the wind or your breath. One seed might drift 500 miles before landing. So that is how that title came out. I hope this has been a helpful look at some of the different ways a picture book might get acquired and different reasons it might take um, a certain length of time to publish that book and a little bit about the steps they go through on their way to publication. I have more information about all three of these books on my website and you can also connect with me online um, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Thanks for watching.